Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to offline update your Xbox One with this USB stick. So let's go ahead and jump into this Xbox tutorial right now. So you're having some critical errors on your Xbox One, maybe getting the startup black screen or the startup green screen, and you need to troubleshoot your Xbox One. Well, there's one way that you can troubleshoot it, and this is by offline updating your Xbox One with a USB stick. So I'm going to show you all the different steps that we need to go through to complete this, like formatting our USB stick to the NTFS format, downloading the files from xbox.com, launching our Xbox One into the troubleshoot menu on the startup. So let's go over to my computer and first format our USB stick and then go to xbox.com and get the download files. All right, so I'm on my computer now. Let's open up File Explorer. Then on the left side, let's locate our USB stick. And here it is, USB drive H. Let's go ahead and just verify this is. This is what I use for my PS4 saves. So on my USB drive, let's go ahead and right click on it and then go up to format on the left hand side here, select this. And we will want to select the NTFS format on here and your USB stick will have to be at least six gigabytes. So select NTFS, then go down to start. And it's going to completely erase all the data off that USB stick. So be warned, once you press OK, that will be gone. So it's going to be very quick, and it's going to say Format Complete. So our USB stick is now formatted. Now let's go to our internet browser, and then just type in xbox.com slash xbox one slash offline update then press enter and it's going to bring you to this page where it's asking you if you need to troubleshoot it then right here in the notes section if you need help performing an offline system update see perform an offline system update and it'll bring you to another page so let's go ahead and select this and here is the instructions to perform an offline update now there is a lot of different tabs and different steps if you're on the original Xbox, you will have two downloads. And if you're on all other Xbox ones, you will only have one download for the most current update. So first you will have to launch your Xbox One into the troubleshooter mode just to verify the version of the operating system on your Xbox One. Now, if you go ahead and perform this Xbox startup troubleshooter and you see the troubleshoot icon right here, and you're able to see reset this Xbox offline system update. And I'll show you how to do this. But if you see this, you can directly skip to just the all other Xbox console update where you only have to download one file. If you have an original Xbox that really hasn't been updated at all, you will have to perform two different updates. You'll first have to download the offline system update file, OS U2 and OS U3. Everyone else will just have to do the OSU1. So since 99% of people will have the troubleshoot menu show up, I'm just going to skip to all other Xbox One consoles. So let's go ahead and download our system update file. So like I said, you will need a USB flash drive, 6 gigabytes of free space, NTFS format, and you can download the system update right here. OSU1, just select this. It'll start downloading on your Xbox One in the bottom left hand side. And it's fairly large, it's 5.3 gigabytes. So just be warned, this may take a, a while to download. It's taken me about 14 to 15 minutes right now. All right, so mine is finally finished. However, if it's taken too long and the download disappears from your screen, if you go up to the upper right hand side of the screen on Google Chrome, you can go to the settings section by pressing the three dots, then going down to downloads, you can actually see everything that you've downloaded recently. So here's my osu1.zip file. Let's go to show in folder. Okay, so here is my osu1 download in my downloads folder. Now, since it is a .zip file type, you will need something to download that. Uh, if you have the Windows 10 operating system, if you go to the Windows Store, mine is located right here. If I just go ahead and select on it, 
then go up to the search bar and just type in zip then go to the search icon right here there's a free app you can use that's called breezip um, the ads can get annoying so you might want to uninstall it after you launch this so i already have it installed so go ahead and try breezip on the windows store um, the only thing i've noticed sometimes you get some pop-up ads but it's not too bad so let's go ahead and close out of this Go back to our file since we have free zip on our computer. Right click on our file. And we're going to go ahead and extract everything out of this file. Let's go to extract all. And you can choose the download path where to extract all the files. I'm just going to go to my username and downloads and select extract. And it's going to extract all that data into that folder now. So uh, five gigabytes and it's going to take over a minute. So to download everything, copy over everything on your USB stick. I mean, depending on your internet speed, this could be taking you about half an hour to an hour just to complete everything. So make sure you got some time available just to do this and update everything because it is a lengthy process. All right, it looks like it's complete now. So here's my system update right here. If you go into it, you'll see a bunch of different files in here. So let's go ahead and back up. So once we go into here, we will want to copy this system update right here, this folder. Let's go ahead and right click on it and copy it. Then go to our drive that we plugged into our computer. Mine is the USB drive H. And since we format it, the drive, there's nothing in here. So you want to make sure nothing's in here. If you have something in there, and you try to put the system update file in there, you won't be able to do it when you get to your Xbox. So make sure your folder is completely empty on your USB drive. Then right click into the empty space here, and then go down to paste. And it's gonna copy over all the information here. And this is where it's gonna get a little bit lengthy again. So two minute wait time. All right, so it looks like it's just about done downloading. And if I go into my USB H drive now, I can see the system update is located on my USB stick. So let's go ahead and right click on my USB stick and press eject. So it's now safe to remove my USB stick. All right, so I have the file on my USB stick now. We will have to launch our Xbox One into the troubleshooting startup menu. And this is actually very easy to do. All right, so let's go ahead and turn around my Xbox One. And Microsoft recommends you unplug the network cable and then unplug the power cable on the back of your Xbox One. And sometimes this can be difficult. So just give it a firm pull and it'll come out. And unplug your power cable from the Xbox One for about 30 seconds so all the power can dissipate throughout the console. Once that time elapses, go ahead and plug it back in. All right, so it's been about 30 seconds. So let's plug it back in. And then I'm going to leave this cable unplugged until the system is updated and I'm launching into the normal Xbox One menus. So I'm going to turn my Xbox One around. Now let's go ahead and locate the eject button right here. And then the bind button located under the Xbox button. Let's go ahead and hold both those down. And then press the Xbox button on the front of the console. And then you'll hear a second beep approximately like two or three seconds later here. I heard a second beep. Let's go ahead and let go. And my Xbox One will start into the troubleshoot menu now. So I have my USB stick here. And let's go ahead and plug it into the front of the console too. So that is now plugged in on the bottom left side of the screen. Let's go over to the troubleshoot menu. So when we're in this menu, we will have to operate the screen with the D-pad. So you'll see four different screens in here. Continue, offline system update, turn off Xbox, and reset this Xbox. Restore the factory default. And you have two options, restore, keep games, and or remove everything. Let's just go over to the system update and select this. Uh, it does tell you go to xbox.com slash xbox one slash offline update for more information let's go ahead and press a on this 
and is preparing the console right now. Um, it's going to restart by itself, so just let this run in the background right now. So once this finishes, after applying the update, you'll be good to go. And it seems like this is actually going pretty quick for me right now. Alright, so my Xbox One is going through the update process in the background. And hopefully by updating your Xbox One, this will fix issues related to the green screen on the startup or the black screen or any kind of system software issue that you've been having. If this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more Xbox tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.